ಜಜರಾಧವಿಹಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಧವ ಪೂಜ ವಿಹಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿಯ ನವಲವ ಗಿರಿವಾರದಿ ಗೋಪಿ ಜನವಲವ ಗಿರಿವಾರದಿ ಜಸೋದನಂದನ ವ್ರಜ ಜನರಂಜನ ಜಸೋದನಂದನ ವ್ರಜ ಜನರಂಜನ ಜಮುನ ತೀರವನ ಚಾರಿ ಯಮುನ ತೀರವನ ಚಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಜ ವಿಹಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಪುಂಜ ವಿಹಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಮಾಧವ ಪುಂಜ ವಿಹಾರಿ ಜಯ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾತ್ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪರಿವ್ರಾಯಕಾರ್ಯ ಆಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಸತ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಿಸ್ ದಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಶಿವ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾತ್ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ಪರಿವ್ರಾಯಕಾರ್ಯ ಆಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಸತ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಿಸ್ ದಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಶಿವ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಓ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಕಿ ಅನಂತ ಕೋತಿ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಕಿ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೋಹೋಸ್ತಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶ್ರೀ ವಾಸರಿ ಗೌರವಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋಪ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ್ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಕುಂದ ರಾಧಾ ಕುಂದ ಗೀರಿ ಗೋವರ್ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಯಾಯ್ ಶ್ರೀನವದ್ವೈತ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಯಾಯ್ ಮಯಪುರ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಯಾಯ್ ಜಗನ್ನಥಪುರಿ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಯಾಯ್ ಇಸ್ಕೋ ನ್ಯೂ ವಾರ್ಕ ಕಿ ಯಾಯ್ ತಲೋರ್ ಶ್ರೀ 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 ಗೋರಾನಿತಾಯ್ ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಲೋರ್ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ಬಾಲದೇಶ್ ಸುಭಾದ್ರಜಿ ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರುಗ್ಮಿನಿ ದ್ವಾರಕಾಧೀಶ್ ಕಿ ತುಳಸಿ ದೇವಿ ಮಹಾರಾಣಿ ಕಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ದೇವಿ ಕಿ ಯಮುನಮಯಿ ಗಂಗಮಯಿ ಕಿ ಸಂಭವೇತ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಕಿ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸೆಂಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಬುಕ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಿ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಿ ಹರಿನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಜಯ ಕಿ ಓಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಅಸೆಂಬಲ್ ದಿ ಬೋರೀಸ್ ಓಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಅಸೆಂಬಲ್ ದಿ ಬೋರೀಸ್ ಓಲ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಸ್ ಟು ಅಸೆಂಬಲ್ ದಿ ಬೋರೀಸ್ All glories to Sri Sri Guru and Gauranga. <clears throat> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುಕುದೇವಾಯ ಟುದೇ ವರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಗವತನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟ್ರೋ ತ್ರೀ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಥ್ರೀ ತ್ರೀ ಮೈತ್ರೇಯ ಉಚ ಭಗವಂ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ ಅಕ್ಷಯ ಅಕ್ಷಯ ಜಗಮ ಬಿಂದು ಸರಸ 
Sarasvatya Parisita Maitreya Uvacha Evantam Anubasyata Bhagavan Pratyak Aksaya Jagama Bindu Sarasa Saraswatya Parishrita Maitreya Uvacha Bhagavad Pratyagasaya Yagama Bindu Sarasa Sarasvatya Parishisa Maitreya Uvacha Devantamanu Vasyata Bhagavan Pratyar Aksaya Yagama Vindu Sarasa Sarasvatya Paris Maitreya Uvacha Evanta Manu Vasyata Bhagavan Pratyak Aksaya Yagama Vindu Sarasa Sarasvatya Parishita Maitreya Uvacha Evanta Manu Vasyata Bhagavan Pratyak Aksaya Jagama Vindu Sarasa Sarasvatya Parishrita Maitreya Uvacha Evanta Manu Vasyata Bhagavan Pratyak Aksaya Bhagavan Vindu Sarasa Sarasvatya Parishrita Maitreya Uvacha Evanta Manu Vasyata Bhagavan Pratyak Aksaya Yagama Vindu Sarasa Pratya Parishrita Vaishnavis Vaitreya Uvacha Evanta Manu Vasyata Bhagavan Pratyak Aksaya Jiyagama Vindu Sarasa Sarasvatya Parishrita Maitreya Uvacha Evanta Manu Vasyata Bhagavan Pratyak Aksaya Yagama Vindu Sarasa Sarasvatya Parishrita Maitreya Uvacha Evanta Manu Vasyata Bhagavan Pratyak Aksaya Yagama Vindu Sarasa Sarasvatya Parishrita Word meaning Maitreya Uvacha The great sage Maitreya said Evam Das Tam To him Anubhasya, having spoken, Atta, then, Bhagavan, 
the Lord Pratyag directly Aksha by senses Jaha who is perceived Jagama went away Bindu Sarasaha from Lake Bindu Sarobara Sarasvatya by the river Sarasvati Parishritat and Circle Translation and purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Maitreya went on Thus, having spoken to Kardama Muni, the Lord who reveals himself only when the senses are in Krishna consciousness departed from that lake called Bindu Sarovara, which was encircled by the river Sarasvati. Purport. One word in this verse is very in this verse is very significant. The Lord sta is stated here to be Pratya Akshaya. He is imperceptible to material senses, but still he can be seen. This appears to be contradictory. We have material senses, but how can we see the Supreme Lord? He, he is called Adokshaya, which means that he cannot be seen by the material senses. Akshaya means knowledge, perceived by material senses. Because the Lord is not an object that can, that can be understood by speculation with our material senses. He's also called Ajita. <clears throat> he will conquer, but no one can conquer him. What does it mean? then that still he can be seen it is explained that no one can hear the transcendental name of krishna no one can understand his transcendental form and no one can assimilate his transcendental pastimes it is not possible then how is it possible that he can be seen and understood When one is trained in devotional service and renders service unto him, gradually one's senses are purified of material contamination. When one's senses are thus purified, then one can see, one can understand, one can hear, and so on. The purification of the material senses and perception of the transcendental form, name and quality of Krishna are combined together in one word, Pratya Akshaya, which is used here. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Simati Gorgobinda Swami Itinamine Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prestaya Bhutale Simati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Itinamine Namaste Sarasvati Deve Goravani Pracharine Nirvisesha Sunyavadi Paschatyade Satarine Mukankaro Jivachalam Pangu Jangratigiri Yat Kripata Mahambande so, we've been hearing in this, yeah, so we've been hearing a lot of wonderful descriptions in the conversation here between uh, the Lord uh, Lord Vishnu, actually, previous, previous to this verse, there's some conversation that there's some beautiful prayers that Kardama Muni is offering 
to the Lord. And uh, consequently, the Lord, after that, he responded. But uh, the wonderful thing was that he, when the Lord appeared in his Garuda chariot, he was so beautiful and brilliantly, he displayed an uh, elegance that no one can see in this material world. It is described that he had some beautiful garland, lotus garland, and then some lily flowers and his yellow, brilliant yellow dotty, and he has his, you know, as usually all his paraphernalia there. So he was smiling and he was so happy to see his devotee. Why was so happy is because in, uh, at that particular time in Satya Yuga, the process of self-realization is meditation. So Kardama Muni performed austerities for 10,000 years and he achieved perfection. His perfection, he himself describes that when he actually saw the Lord. He says, now I can see that my, the perfection of my vision is to see you face to face. And then after that, so many other beautiful uh, exchanges there that we derive so much uh, uh, knowledge from this, how to actually guide our lives from different things that Kardama Muni was saying. And uh, <laughs> I was just also remembering that Night Karma Prabhu mentioned this morning that today is Valentine's Day. And uh, I just thought that a great percentage of the people out there, they're celebrating in different ways. And we wish them good in that, of course. You know, we are well wishers. They're, you know, trying to show their affection and love for, you know, the dear ones. And, but here we are, you know, ourselves we're trying to develop love for Krishna and get our affection to Krishna. Because as it was mentioned there in the, in the many things that Kardama Muni was mentioned to Lord Vishnu, is that, uh, Unfortunately, he says, my dear Lord, you didn't really want to create this world. Actually, that was not your idea. But he said, out of compassion for all the living beings, you create this through your agent, which is, uh, your, I mean, Mahamaya, to facilitate everyone to enjoy. So if someone wants to enjoy, here, take to the, yeah, no problem. But those who engage themselves in, in the service of the Lord, for those, he has a special reciprocation. So, in this particular verse now that we're seeing, is described that no one can see the Lord, no one can understand the Lord, but at the same time, you, you see him. But how is that? Even in the, in the Vedas, uh, I think Kim, Kim Parikshi, I mean in the personified Vedas, Kim Parikshi, is actually asking that question to Sukadeva Goswami. So we're living in this material world and everything here is the three modes of material nature. So if we offer our prayers, how is that with a materialistic mind and material intelligence? How are we going to pronounce like that sound vibration? This material, how are we going to reach that transcendence? Because his adoksha is beyond. And and yeah, like that. So the point is still there, how we can see. So there's actually one nice verse that describes Ata Sri Krishna Namadi Navabe Grahyam Indriya Sevan Mukhe Hijivado Swayan Evas Puratyada that no one can understand Krishna by his blunt material senses. But if you render devotional service with love and devotion, he himself comes and reveals to him. Just like he did that to Kardama Muni. He was so pleased. And he was doing meditation 10,000 years. The process is different. Now we have a different process in Kali Yuga. So, yes. So devotional service begins by the tongue. Jivado. So the function of the tongue is two. One is to vibrate sound 
and the other one is to eat. So when you do vibrate sound, you want to obviously vibrate pure sounds, and the holy name of Krishna is so pure. So if you chant Hare Krishna, obviously, you start getting purified. So it begins by the tongue, by chanting the holy name, and by eating prasad. So those two things eventually will help us to purify these blunt material senses. And that's why in the morning we chant Sarira, Vidya, Yudendriya, Dahikal, Jive Pele, Visaya Sagore, Dharma, Yajivayati. That these material senses are blunt. It's like, you know, we have to wake them up. How do you do that? Through Prashad, or through describing the glories of the Lord. So that is our process. And he also process, he also said in the Bhagavad Gita, what is that verse? 18. 55. Bhakti amam avyanati yavan yascha smitato dhavam tato man tato gyata vishate tadanam taram. You can understand, understand me as I am, as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, only by devotional service. When you are full conscious of me, then I reveal myself to you. So that's, that's our process here. And uh, also, one has to be eager for that. Sila Prabhupada was mentioning in one lecture that he said that very, you know, once in a while there are those kind of people who ask to see God. Have you seen God? Can you show me God? And, you know, obviously they just come like that. They blurt, you know, like, can you see me God? Can you show me God? Then Prabhupada gives the example about uh, when a person, you know, you're driving your car, it breaks down, and then he said, you're there, you're looking at the car, but you don't, you don't have the qualification, you don't understand. The mechanic comes and immediately he says, oh, yeah, I can understand. This is the problem. He finds a screw or something and immediately he's qualified. So we have to qualify ourselves. And actually, I remember also that um, Bhaktavatar told me that. And also, actually, Sankar Sham Prabhu, he said that Prabhupada wrote him a letter. He said that someday you will see Krishna face to face, but you have to qualify yourself. So we need to qualify ourselves for that. And so in one lecture, Srila Prabhupada was mentioning too that that eagerness, he said there was one time there was a, a recider, professional recider, describing the glories of Srimad Bhagavatam. And he said in his this message, he said, and there is one beautiful boy who plays in the forest and his name is Govinda Krishna. He said he has a lot of beautiful jewelry a lot of jewelry. He's so beautiful. And there was a thief right there. So when he heard that, he said, hmm, I can satisfy my needs. I can become rich now. I want to go and see that boy in Vrindavan. So he, he made arrangements. He went and he, there he goes. And he saw Krishna there. He said, yeah, because he heard the descriptions, how he looked like beautiful, pick of feather and, and everything. So, he approached him, he said, can you give me one of your jewels? And little Krishna is playing the role of a baby. He said, no, no, no. Mother Yasora will get angry at me. He said, she wouldn't like it. And then this gave him more eagerness to go and, you know, come on, give me some. And Krishna, no. And then finally, at one point, Krishna says, okay, take. So he took the, the jewelry, and as a consequence of the, for the association of Krishna, he became purified. So that's, but what was the qualification of the thief? Eagerness. So you have to be eager. If you're not eager, then, you know. In a similar way, there are many other descriptions that Prabhupada describes, you know, in different settings, like settings, like uh, 
he described the gopis when they wanted to go and see Krishna. He said that the gopis uh, will do anything. They will give up any other, you know, you can, you can say so-called attachments. The family members, the husband, the children, and brothers, and run for Krishna. Even to the point that sometimes some of the gopis will stop. You know, where are you going? What are you doing? And they didn't care. They just go. But those who were stopped, it is said that actually they <laughs> left their bodies in separation for Krishna. But those who went there and they saw him, Prabhupada mentioned this, he said, and they were with lost desires in, in that particular lecture. Lost desires, but by the uh, closeness with Krishna, they became, you know, like more purified. So again, that was eagerness. And also Sila Rupa Goswami mentioned something very interesting. He says that one time one gopi told to another friend, my dear friend, if you want to, you, you want to go and see this beautiful boy called Govinda. He is playing his flute in the full moon night. It's a beautiful boy. He's standing there in his three bending form. It's beautiful. And then he says, but if you are still attached to your husband, your children, your family, I would say, don't go, <laughs> because if you go, and then that's it, it will be finished. So we have to be ready. We have to be ready to give up some attachments if we want to get close to Krishna. It's not that easy, but it is easy, but it's not that easy sometimes. We're living in Kali Yuga, it's so difficult. But the process in Kali Yuga is so purifying. It is said that etava neva lokes min punsa dharma parasmita bhakti yoga bhagavati tangna magrahana divi that the process of, in this age of Kali Yuga is the chanting of the holy name of the Lord. And that's the only thing that can help us to actually get closer to the Lord. So that's, uh, that is described, that's the way, devotional service is so powerful. It is described that just like a, a dry wood is uh, by fire, it, it turns into ashes. So similar devotional service can actually turn to ashes, all the burn, all the materialistic attachments and desires. So devotional service is recommended in every part of the, almost in every page of the Bhagavatam. There is one devotee who I think is built by Mangala Thakur. He says, Bhaktis twayis tiratara bhagavan jadisya daiven anafaliti daiven anafaliti yuga kishor. He said that when I do devotional service, I perceive the Lord everywhere. That's, I can see the Lord because he's doing the, the, the devotional, in devotional service, you can see the Lord. If you have any questions or any doubts, do devotional service, do the practical thing. In this regard, actually, Sila Bhaktisiddhanta Maharaj said, do not try to see Krishna, just like that, God. You should act in such a way that Krishna will come to see you. And also in another circumstance, one person came to see Sila Bhaktisiddhanta Maharaj, and he said, I have some, I have questions, many questions. Then, uh, Srila Bhaktisiddhanta, he probably was busy. He said, uh, go there, the devotees there, will, they can answer you, go in the kitchen. So he went there and he started, you know, like he thought he's gonna, somebody's gonna tell him about the questions that he had, doubts. But then he watched the pots. <laughs> he started watching the pots, doing a lot of seva. And then after some time, when he, it was done, he came back to Srila Bhaktisiddhanta Maharaj and he said, oh, you have any questions now? He said, no, my questions are answered. <laughs> so the, he got purified. He actually understood somehow the devotional service. He did some practical service. And yes, so we have to be actually eager again. 
and be in the right association. How do you actually get that eagerness? If somebody might ask, how can I get eagerness for devotional service? Well, in the association of devotees only, there's no other way. You have to be in association of devotees. If you deprive of the association of devotees, then it's very risky, very, very difficult. So therefore, all the paraphernalia that Srila Prabhupada offered to us is meant just for that, so we can please the Lord through devotional service, through the different many items that, that they are here. And also just to uh, give you some um, quick and understanding more of how devotional service, let me see, is perceived in different ways. There's a devotee who actually described this in Sila Bhakti Vinota Kur Mahayana. He actually is teaching us, and we have it here ourselves too. Sudabakata charana renu bhajana anukula Bakata seva paramasidhi premalatikara mula He said, the dust from the lotus feet of pure devotees gives rise to devotional service. And service to the devotees is, is itself the supreme perfection and the root of the tender creeper of divine love. Madhavatiti bhakti janani yatane palana kori Krishna vasati vasali boli parama adare bori With great care I observe holy days like a kadasi and janmastami for they are the mother of devotion and with the greatest reverence and love I choose as my dwelling place the transcendental abode of Sri Krishna Gor Amara, Gor Amara, Gor Amara, Ye Savastane, Korala Brahmana Range, Se Savastana Heribo Ami, Pranayi Bhakata Sange. In the company of loving devotees, see, in the association, in the company of loving devotees, I will visit all those places where my Lord, Gorasundara travel and perform his pastimes. Mirdangavadya sunite mana avasara sadayache Gora vihita kirtana suni anandehido yanache My mind always begs to hear the music of the Mirdanga and my heart dances in ecstasy whenever I heard the kind of kirtan established by Lord Gorachandra. Yuga la murti de kiyamura parama ananda hoya prasada seva korite hoya sakala prapanchayaya I feel supreme bliss when I behold the deities forms of the divine couples Siddha and Krishna and I conquer all worldly illusions by honoring the Lord's prasadam. Yedina grihe bhajana deki, grihe te goloka bhaya, charana siddhu deki yaganga, sukana sima bhaya. Every day, Goloka Vrindavan appears in my home when I see Lord Hari being worshipped there. My joy knows no bounds when I see the Ganges a river of nectar emanating from the Lord's lotus feet. Tulasi deki yudaya prana madhava toshani jani gora priya saka sevane jivana sartakamani The sight of the tulsi plants suits my soul for I know for I I know she gives pleasure to Lord Krishna. I feel that my life has been fulfilled. Bhakti Vinoda Krishna Bhajan. Fulfilled, I'm sorry, I apologize. Yeah. When I 
honor shack, a green leafy vegetable preparation that is a favorite of Lord Chaitanya's. What is it? Bhakti Vinoda Krishna Vajane Anukulapa Anukulapa Yaha Prati Divase Paramasuke Suikara Koro Yeta He said that whatever Bhakti Vinoda obtains that furthers devotional service to see Krishna, he accepts every day with the greatest joy. Wow, Sila Bhakti Vinod, Thakur Ki Yai, Sila Prabhupada Ki Yai. Yes, Prabhu. <laughs> You're raising your hand. You have some questions. So this is so wonderful. So we have a wonderful process here to perform. All these different paraphernalia. Are you waiting for the phone? All we have to do is just do what we already, what Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur is describing here. We have the Tulsi plan. We get Charan Amrita. We have deities. A lot of devotees give deities in their homes. So there's no difference. You know, we are, some of us, we choose to live in the temple, but some people, they live outside. They have everything. They have Krishna there in their home. They have the holy name. Great. Yes, Prabhu. Thank you, Chastachi Dhanai Prabhu. Very beautiful class, like always. Uh, Prabhu, you started your class giving the example of this uh, thief who approached Krishna with the intention of stealing the jewels from mm -hmm. the Lord, and then eventually he became purified. So uh, how can you explain that when Rupa Goswami uh, gives the explanation of pure devotional service, and Yavilasita, Sunyam, mm -hmm. So that it should be performed in a favorable way. <clears throat> so at the same time, this guy approached mm -hmm. the Lord not in a favorable way, but unfavorable way. You know. So, can you explain? Yeah, there's many ways how we can answer that. And uh, Krishna, Krishna is totally independent. He doesn't go by bound by rules and regulations. Oh, it has to be like this because in the books it's like that. He's totally free to do whatever he wants. And that soul was very fortunate. He chooses to give, you know, to offer that special mercy. It's like someone might think, even now in my case, I, I don't know about you, but it's like, really? Actually, I met friends before because I used to work and travel all over the world with friends. And I would meet them at the, at the airport. I would hide. I didn't want them to see me because, you know, I, was, I wasn't sure at that time yet what are you doing? They see me with a wig because we used to wear wigs. And I go like, God, my friends are coming there. You know, some people from Holland, from France, from Spain, because we used to have international traveling all over the world. And, and then I go, oh, this person is going to come to talk to me. And then he says, you look different. What are you doing? You know, so what I'm trying to say is like, if I, I when I look at myself and I see that thief or that, doesn't really matter because in the, in the, description of Krishna giving the mercy, he says, even if you are a thief or you are losty or you are in whichever way you are, you just somehow they get close to Krishna. And the Brihat Naradiya Purana, actually Krishna is telling Arjuna, he says, Arjuna, listen carefully. That person who sings my name, he said, either with devotion or just kind of neglectfully like joking or whatever, that person lives closer to my heart, closer to my heart, forever. And then, of course, if you go to the books and you say, well, and the book says that unless you chant pure name, it's there. Some of the descriptions are to encourage you, but if you really want to become serious, you know, like in my case, I want to do the way the scripture says, the way Prabhupada has given us. And other ones, it's more lenient. It's a, it, this movement is a movement of encouragement. You know, you we don't want to discourage anyone. Like those people who are celebrating Valentine, great, do it. Can you include include God? Can you include God in your and then it will be good, it will be perfect. So anybody else wants to say something otherwise? Prashadan ki Haribo. Yeah. Ravindrana, you see? 
हरि वो महाराज वंस टू सही समथिंग Yeah, thank you for a very nice class, Prabhu. Uh, can you hear me? Is it okay? Yeah. Uh, th- I just wanted to make a, one point, and that is, there are two main factors which allow, enable, help a devotee to actually see the Supreme Lord, because most uh, do not really see Him. He doesn't manifest Him, and the reason He doesn't manifest is, as I said, there are two factors. The one factor is the, the purity of the desire of the devotee. He doesn't want to just see the Lord, so he can walk around and tell everybody, "I saw the Lord and talked to Him," or he ta- shook my hand. Uh, to, to be proud, to be thinking he's big, he's great. He is big and proud. Nonetheless, he should not think that. That is all due to the arrangement of the Supreme Lord's mercy. This is the first thing, and the other thing is that we can never see Krishna actually unless Krishna is pleased by our loving service. And when he is pleased, he turns on, so to speak, a power which allows, which enables, which helps us to actually see him. It's kind of like if you're in the dark and then uh, and you don't see, or you can hardly see. But when somebody turns on the switch, you can see everything which is there. Krishna is ultimately in charge of our seeing him, either from the point of view of our purity or the point of view of his recognizing that purity, which fulfills. his own wish and therefore we see krishna but a person who's very advanced will who does actually see krishna his position will always be it had nothing to do with me it had all to do with the lord's mercy so why that because he never wants to have that pride that arrogance that uh, contempt uh, aboveness he doesn't want that he wants to actually feel that everything is happening by the mercy of krishna and if we have that attitude then there's no chance no room no possibility for pride thank you actually maharaj quickly thank you very much that reminds me that one time one person came to sila bhakti siddhanta maharaj he said oh i saw krishna sila bhakti siddhanta maharaj really did you see maya also <laughs> he said yes he said then you haven't seen krishna yet because <laughs> once you see krishna maya you know Krishna Surya Sama Maya Hayanda Kara Yahanta Han Krishna Maya Radhikara Krishna's latest song Maya's darkness so if you saw Maya you haven't seen Krishna Hare Krishna <laughs>